Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my Fake Crate. It is making a lot of noise. There are a lot of really cool items in this box and I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get into it because I really want to go in depth on the items that we have this month. All the information for Fake Crate will be listed down below for you as well. This is a subscription box that I am a rep for, but it is a subscription box that I have been purchasing myself for a long time and will continue to purchase after my rep period is over. It is my favorite box on the market right now. I feel like their items are very unique I always stress that when I do my unboxings I just really really love the thought that goes into the items and this month some of the items are amazing and I cannot wait to show you if you guys are not familiar there are two different boxes that you can get one is a bit more expensive than the other and it does come with a t-shirt that is the one that I got this month like I said I will list all of that information down below but starting off with the t-shirt this is what it looks like it says Ketterdam or bust this is amazing this is the more expensive of the options for the boxes but you do get a more fandom themed t-shirt every single month. This is obviously for Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. This is not a fandom that I actually enjoy, but this is a t-shirt that I will wear because the t-shirts from them are very, very soft. I absolutely love them. I think that they are wonderful. And as with every unboxing, I will leave every single vendor down below so you guys are able to find a little bit more information if you are looking for it. Whatever you're kind of seeing here, maybe you like the look of an item, maybe you like, you know, something like that, you can find out where to find more items like this. The next thing that we have is the item that I am the most excited for. I think this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in a box before, and it is a little globe. Now, this is a globe from Crooked Kingdom, uh, from Six of Crows, from the Grisha Trilogy. I'm gonna go ahead and do a close-up for you guys here in a minute, but I love this. I think this is so cool. I feel like it's a really good size. I feel like it'll fit on your shelves really nicely. I am, I'm so in love with this. It's definitely made out of like a more aluminum-y metal, but it is really sturdy and really, really beautiful. And I'm so glad to have this. I think that this is absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to put this on my shelves with my Grisha Trilogy and display it because I feel like a lot of fandom related items are a little bit more specific. Usually they're prints or they're cards or, you know, they're like bookmarks and stuff. So to have something like this, something this unique for a box is amazing. I am really glad to have this and I cannot wait to display it. Now last month we did get a print from the Slayer series or the Slayer book that came out by Kirsten White. And this month we did get another print on the same kind of paper and it is a map of Narnia. Now I love Narnia. I really liked the movies. I think I was the only person on the planet who actually liked those. I never actually got around to reading more than the first book, but this is so cool to have. I think if you're a really big fan of the series, or even if you're a really big fan of maps in general, you'll really like this item. And it's really sturdy. I love the stock that they put this on. It's like a cloth print, essentially, but it is beautiful. I love the detail. I love the colors. And this is frameable. I actually hung up my other one just with thumbtacks because thumbtacks do very little damage and you can later frame it. So I'm really excited to have this and I cannot wait to hang it up. I think it is absolutely stunning and it is of a very good size it's not too big and not too small which I really enjoy the next thing we have here is actually a drawstring bag and I'm really excited to have this because I've been going to the gym a lot more recently I've been going after work I've been going like on my days off and stuff just trying to boost my mental health while boosting my physical health and I feel like it's really helped me and I feel like having something like this is really awesome but it is a hotel Valhalla drawstring bag and this is really cool so you can take this with you you can pack your lunch in it if you're going to school you can pack your school books in it if you want to like i said i'll probably use this for the gym just to throw everything in to get it to get it there and back but this is beautiful so i'm really excited to have this this is definitely more of a kind of like a what's the word kind of like a i always want to think potato sack but that's not really correct but i do really like the material this is made out of it is very sturdy and obviously like i said it is a drawstring bag not too big not too small either with drawstring bags because you do kind of hold them on your shoulders you want them to be of a more manageable size you don't want them to be too large or too small because obviously you want to be able to carry stuff but you don't want to carry so much that it does cut into your shoulders. So I think they chose a really good size for this. And I love the color. I love that it's very simple as well. I think this is something that a lot of people can use. And also with drawstring bags, they are obviously reversible. You can wear them however you want. So even if you don't like the design, one day you can flip it and wear it a different way. So I really, really like this. And I think it's an awesome idea. And I do like the design on it as well. Now the next item we have here, I'm also really excited for. I think this is super cool, especially because spring is on its way and it's travel season. And that would be 
a like luggage tag and it says Astrovaris on the front of it. This is from the Shades of Magic trilogy. Obviously it does come with a loop that you can kind of attach it to your bags and such. I know a lot of people are getting geared up to go to BookCon. I know a lot of people who are going away for spring break. I know a lot of people who are going to be traveling this summer and I feel like this is a really, really awesome idea on the back. It obviously has your name and your address and how to get a hold of you on telephone if your bag is lost. And I feel like for a lot of us, this is a really good item to have because it shows our geekiness, but it's also, you know, a more practical item. And that is something that I really appreciate with Fake Create. I feel like a lot of their items are more practical and that is something that I look forward to in a lot of their boxes. So this is something that I'm really excited for. Obviously, I really do enjoy the Shades of Magic trilogy as well. So this is definitely something that I will be using over the summer. So the next item we're gonna talk about is actually the item that I am so excited to get every single month in Fake Create, and that would be the Polaroid. And this is the one we got this month. This is Lord of the Rings. This is Legolas and Gimli as if they were on tour. Now I collect these. This is something that I look forward to every month. They have not let me down. I feel like the art is really beautiful in every single one of them. And like I said, I will list down below all of the vendors so you can find more information on kind of who makes these things. But I am so excited to have this. This is so adorable. My roommate loves Lord of the Rings. I'm not a huge fan of the books, but I do really enjoy the movies. So this is something that I'm really excited to have. Also because it looks like they are on tour. I think that that is super cool. And I cannot wait to display these. I'm trying to figure out a good way to display them, but this is so far my favorite of the ones we've gotten because I feel like it shows a lot of personality of the characters and the art is really stunning and I just, I really love these. I think this is such a personal, unique item that we get in the boxes every single month. Now the last thing we have is a keychain and I cannot wait to put this on that keychain, but it says what happens in Valeris stays in Valeris. If you guys are not familiar, Valeris is obviously where the, what are they called? A Court of Thorns and Roses series happens. There is a location in the books called Valeris and it is by far my most favorite location in a book ever. I think it is beautiful and stunning and somewhere that I would love to live. So to have this is really cool, as well as Valeris is a place where a lot of people do get up to no good in a way. And I love the thought behind this. I think it's really cool. I also like that it is a little bit more sturdy. The design is kind of sandwiched between the two plastic bits on the sides. So it's one that I feel like will last for a long time as well as it's not super shiny right off the bat so I feel like a lot of the times when I get new like keychains and stuff they're very shiny and they do kind of wear away and you can kind of see that I feel like this because it is more of a matte design it will hold up really well and it's not too big it's definitely something that you can put on your keychain this is it towards my hand or it against my hand for reference so not too large not too small once again I feel like these items are so perfect this month and I'm so blown away but I cannot wait to put this on my keychain I think of all the items we got this one's probably my favorite because it is so like usable but it's also cute but it's also I don't know like funny in a way and it's of a place that I genuinely enjoy so I love this item I really, I'm like so blown away. Now the last item we have here is our book and I'm really excited for this book. Not only is it my favorite colors, it is just, it sounds like a book that I'm really going to like. It is Dark of the West by Joanna Hathaway. I love books that look like this, like the old school kind of like, I don't know, I always wanna say Victorian, but that's probably not correct. I just love the way that this is gonna look on my shelves first off. I'm gonna go ahead and read the description for you guys so you guys can kind of see if it is something that you'd be interested in. But it says, Ariella is a princess of a small kingdom in the north, raised in privilege but shielded from politics as her brother prepares to step up to the throne. Halfway around the world, Athan Darkar, the youngest son of a ruthless general, is a fighter pilot longing for a life away from the front lines. When Athan's mother is shot and killed, his father is convinced it's the work of his old rival, the Queen of Etania, Ariella's mother. Determined to avenge his wife's murder, he devises a plot to overthrow the queen. A plot that sends Athan undercover to Atania to gain intel from her children. Athan's mission becomes complicated when he finds himself falling for the girl he's been tasked with spying upon. Ariella feels the same attraction, all the while desperately seeking to stop the war threatening to break between the southern territory and the old northern kingdoms that control it, a war in which Athan's father is determined to play a role. As diplomatic ties manage to just barely hold, the two teens struggle to remain loyal to their families and each other as they learn that war is not as black and white as they've been raised to believe. So I'm really excited to read this. A lot of books that I tend to enjoy in fantasy, because this is definitely a fantasy novel, one has some form of romance, but two has some sort of subterfuge in it. So the fact that one of our main characters is actually going undercover to kind of woo one of our other main characters for information, I think I'm really going to like that. I also like denser reads that do have a bit of war in them. So I think this is going to be a book that I'm really going to like. I'm going to try to read all of my books that I've gotten from book boxes or ones that I've been sent for review in the month of April. That's going to be what I focus on in that month. So it's definitely going to be a book that I'm going to be getting around to soon. If you guys want reviews on it, 
I would keep an eye out for vlogs in the month of April or my wrap up the beginning of May. But I'm so excited to read this. And like I said, it is absolutely gorgeous. And with all of our books, obviously we do get our signed book plate. Her signature is just like mine and she has a little heart at the end of it. How freaking cute. And then obviously we get our dear reader letter and on the front of that it says war is no good for the young or for love. So I'm really excited to read this. I cannot wait. I, I just love Faye Crate's books because usually they have either an exclusive cover, they have a book that is just signed instead of with a book plate, or they have a dust jacket free version. I've actually unboxed a few of those so far on my channel from them and I have been blown away by the quality of them and I love having a book without a dust jacket on my shelves that's actually kind of like made that way. But I'm going to kind of go over a little bit of the theme. So the theme before this month was vacation. As you guys can tell, obviously it is about traveling and exotic locations and locations from stories that we love, obviously with Narnia, Valeris, things like that. Um, but I am blown away by this. And every single month we do get a free ebook. So if you are subscribed to Fake Rate, you obviously get a free ebook every month. The one that we got this month is The Fairy Guardian by Rachel Morgan. So that is really cool. And it says there's also a special Fake Crate exclusive at the end of the book. That is awesome. That is so cool. So it says, TBR, if you like the book of the month, you'll love these too. So they do that as well. So if you do read the book and you do end up enjoying it, there are other books that they recommend that you might like along the same vein. So if you liked The Selection by Kira Cass, Emerald Green by Kirsten Gear, Roar by Cora Carmack, or The Winner's Curse by Maria Rutkowski, you'd really love our book of the month. I enjoyed Roar, I wasn't in love with it, but we're gonna see what I think of this month's book. But yeah, I think that's everything in my box. I feel like this box was never ending and continued to blow me away throughout the entire month. So that is gonna be it for this video, guys. Let me know down below your favorite item from this month's box. If you did pick it up, let me know what you thought of it. Or if you plan to subscribe in the future, also let me know that as well. But I love you guys so much. This definitely sets my day off in a really, really good way. And I cannot wait to get this video up and show you guys everything that we got. I have been been sitting on spoilers for some of these items for a while and I'm so glad to finally be able to share it with you guys but yeah that's gonna be it for this video I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one bye